Hi, I'm Gabe. For this problem, we're asked to solve the equation the absolute value of 7 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 9. Now, in order to solve this problem, we'll want to recall that any time we're trying to solve a problem of the form u in absolute value is greater than or equal to some number a, we really wish to solve two equations. We wish to solve u is greater than or equal to a, and u is less than or equal to negative a. In this case, our u is 7 minus 2x, and our a is 9. So we wish to solve the two equations, 7 minus 2x is greater than or equal to 9, and our solution will also be the values that satisfy the equation 7 minus 2x is less than or equal to negative 9. Now solving the first equation, since we're trying to find the values of x which satisfy this, we can subtract 7 from each side of the equation, leaving us with a negative 2x is greater than or equal to 2. And here we wish to divide each side by negative 2, but you'll want to remember that any time you multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, you have to flip the sign. So dividing each side of our inequality by negative 2 leaves us with x is less than or equal to negative 1. Now solving our second equation, 7 minus 2x is less than or equal to negative 9, we can begin by subtracting 7 from each side of our equation, leaving us with negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 16. And here we can divide each side by negative 2. We'll wish to recall that when we divide by a negative number, we have to flip the sign again. So dividing by negative 2, we have x is greater than or equal to 8. So our solution is all of the x values which are less than or equal to negative 1 and greater than or equal to 8. So to graph our solution, we'll draw a number line and we'll include values from x equals negative 1 up through x equals 8. Now since our solution includes all values of x that are less than or equal to negative 1, we'll draw a bracket at x equals negative 1, and we'll include all of the values to the left of negative 1. And since our solution also includes all values that are greater than or equal to 8, we'll draw a bracket at 8. and include all the values to the right of 8. Thank you. 